Students at DePaul University are protesting the firing of a popular instructor. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is live on campus and Sabrina the woman was fired over an assignment about the war in Gaza. Jimmy, that's correct. Now an appeals board has made a unanimous decision that DePaul University violated this now former adjunct professor's academic freedom by firing her. That recommendation now goes to the provost for a final decision. I'm sad to no longer be teaching my students or see their final projects. I'm sad that I don't get a chance to properly say goodbye to them or tell them how blown away I was. Dr. Anne Dequino, surrounded by students, but not allowed back in her former classroom. My case is a reminder that if faculty and staff are not protected from the swift and severe reprimand of this university, students most certainly are not either. In early May, she was teaching Health 194, Human Pathogens and Defense, two days after issuing an optional assignment, which asked students to focus on the biological effects of the war in Gaza, she was fired. She says she wanted students to understand, quote, the impacts of genocide on human biology, choosing those words referring to this report from the UN Human Rights Council in March, which found, quote, reasonable grounds that Israel is committing genocide in Gaza. More than 36,000 Palestinians have been killed. That's according to Gaza's health ministry. In her termination letter, the university says students expressed concern about political matters in class, adding that administrators felt the assignment was unrelated to the course. The assignment was in fact related to the course and its objectives. For months, scientists and physicians have been warning about the spread of infectious disease in Gaza due to starvation, malnutrition, overcrowding, destruction of critical water and sanitation infrastructure. Uh, I'll help you. Yes, we have a petition to deliver. Okay. Student supporters delivered a petition with almost 1,500 signatures on it. We are demanding that she be reinstated. This letter from the American Association of University Professors to the president of DePaul calls for the same. DeQuino appealed the university's decision and an appeals board responded, unanimously agreeing that her academic freedom was breached. The decision now lies in the hands of the provost. It would be great to get reinstated and be able to finish off teaching this um, quarter, even though I know we're pretty much at the end of the quarter. I'd love to see my students' final projects. I'd love to say goodbye to them. We reached out to the university to see if there was a timeline when the provost has to make a final decision based on that recommendation and to see if they had any comments. They would only tell us that the review will be completed soon. We're live in Lincoln Park. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sabrina.